What I want you to do now, I want you to all close your eyes. And I want you to think about why you've come here. Really be honest with yourself and think about why you've come here. And nobody will see this sheet because if you know that, then you're going to change your answer. Close your eyes and spend the next three minutes thinking about why you would come here this week or these few days. Okay. Why do you think I've come here? What am I doing here? You all have your reasons. Why did I come here? To teach us. Teach you? Okay. Why do I come to teach you? This is what I'm doing, but why do I do it? Everything that you and I ever do ever is for happiness. Everything we've done in the past, everything we will do in the future is for the sake of happiness. Everyone you've ever known a million, ten billion years ago, same in the future, is for happiness. Whether you're a dog or a lion or a flower or an insect, anything that is ever done is for the sake of happiness. So you come here for the sake of happiness. I've come here for the sake of happiness. This center has been built for the sake of happiness. Everyone is pursuing happiness. If we remember this one statement, this one statement can change our whole life. If I only remember that everything I do is for happiness. So how do you think this one statement can change your life? If you live moment to moment remembering that, I'm doing this for happiness, I'm doing this for happiness, how do you think your life can change them? Think about it. Most of the time we live our lives without thinking. So now what we're going to do here, at least with me, is we're going to think. So tell me, I've given you this statement. Everything we do is for happiness. And I'm proposing that if we remember this statement, our whole life can change. Why do I make such a statement? Is she? Well, we love the attitude, the little things that we're Okay, fair enough. If we think about happiness, we'll be more happy. Good. Secret, right? <laughs> yes. I want to do a lot of things that I feel like I'm forced to do because they don't want to be honest. Okay, good. You had your hand up? Jeff, oh, I thought you had your hand up. Anyone else? I feel like your actions would be a lot more um, thoughtful. Okay. And sincere. Okay, as I said, Vivek? Because it's like that first step. That if you, I mean, you have to always make that first step in order to take your step and be happy at this step. I guess the first direction would be to at least try to think that way. That will get you to do more. That's the step. That's the step. This statement can change my life because <clears throat> if I'm ever unhappy, then I know I need to do something to become happy then. If I know that the purpose of life is to be happy, if I'm unhappy, then will I just continue in that unhappiness? Will I just succumb to that unhappiness? I'm not really living life then, am I? So if I remember that the purpose of life is happiness, that everything I'm doing for happiness is for happiness, if I'm unhappy, I either need to change the situation or I need to change my mind to be happy. Really, there's only two choices anyone has in life if they're in a difficult situation. Either you can change the situation or you can change your attitude towards the situation. We don't have any other choices. Chicago, so we, suppose you're in high school and you have to live with your parents and you hate the weather of Chicago. You have two choices. Either you can move, which if you're in high school and living with your parents, you can't. Agreed? Or you change your attitude towards the weather. What other choice do you have? What will complaining do? Will complaining change the weather? So if we remember this statement, everything I do is for happiness, this statement can change your life. Now, We've all come here to study spirituality because we hope that by knowing spirituality, I will be more happy. So my next question for you is, 
What does spirituality and happiness have to do with each other? Why are we studying spirituality? Why are we not studying chemistry? Here. What does spirituality have to do with happiness? So, Sheena, what do you think? <laughs> um, I think spirituality is one of the best paths to take towards happiness. Why? Because it, it um, encourages you to look inside, so then you're finding like a true happiness versus, I guess, the chemistry example. You can be like, oh, see, the reaction worked. I mean, that's like a different, that's an outside happiness. And so spirituality forces you to look within. Okay. It's interesting to see that um, when you look at people who are spiritual, like spiritual leaders, they seem to be very happy and joyous. I mean, we don't see all sides of their lives, but the sides that we do see, they look happy. So you kind of wonder, well, I want to be like that. So maybe there's something with this whole spirituality thing. The drunkard's happy too, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you want to be a drunkard? <laughs> <laughs> But she can't see the unhappy, unhappy times that a spiritual person experiences either. So why, why do you want to be like a spiritual person and not the drunkard? But it's a, it's a different sort of happiness, right? Like a calm, serene happiness versus. <laughs> I'm drinking. Mean, someone can be very different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. I'm just teasing you. Um, I feel like, like we said, I guess our purpose, sort of. And for us to do that, uh, we could use God as a way to channel our focus in order to achieve that higher happiness or that, that higher idea. And so that's why we use spirituality. Because, I mean, if we're able to channel our focus by, you know, praying to God or channel our focus, mm -hmm. uh, we can attain that higher Okay. So now, again, we've all come here, whether we acknowledge it or not, secretly thinking that if I know spirituality, that I will become more happy. So my next question is, is the knowing bringing happiness? Like if I know chemistry or if I know science, or is it the spirituality that's bringing happiness? Because there's two things there. Is knowing bringing me happiness or is knowing spirituality bringing me happiness? If I know a towel, does that make me happy? Versus if I know the spirit, does that make me happy? If I know a towel, or a flower, or a watch, or if I know the spirit, is there a difference between those two? What is the difference? Okay, so it's not the knowing that brings the happiness, it's the nature of the subject that brings the happiness. So again, I can know chemistry, but that may or may not bring me happiness. But if I know the spirit, and I am happy, that shows that spirituality or the spirit is happiness. It's the nature of the subject that we're here for. The knowing is irrelevant, I know this, I know that, I know that. But if I know the spirit, and that's creating happiness in my life, then that shows that the nature of the subject is happiness then. That's what you and I are here for. Not the knowing. It doesn't, we can know so many things, and you all know so many things, but it's knowing the spirit that we're all seeking. With this being said now, what is a distinct feature about spirituality versus any other science? Whether you take it math or English or history, French, geology, what makes spirituality, this science, different? 